In this quick tip video, we're going to take a look at how the realign function works within Huntron Workstation. Now the realign function can be used for several different reasons. One would be to relocate your PCB from one position in the prober to another. You could use it to change the orientation of the board, meaning that you would change the rotation of the board. You should use it when you change slots within the prober. So for example, moving from the top slot to the middle slot, you should perform the realign. You can use realign to capture new auto-align images. And lastly, if you're using CAD data to create your test, you would use the realign function to permanently relocate your board within the prober. So in today's demonstration, we're going to use the realign function to move my circuit card from this back right corner to a location farther forward in the prober. As you can see, this board is mounted with a rather complicated series of holders and board spacers along the back wall. So I want to simplify the way this is mounted within the prober bed. So what we've done is we've created a simple board holder that holds the board farther forward within the prober and moves it out away from this back right corner. It also eliminates any tall obstacles that are around the edges of the card, such as the board spacers. So now I'll switch to using that board holder. So please stand by. So now you can see we have the board mounted in the new holder. It's in a much farther forward position than it was. It was back here in the back right corner, and now it's mounted farther forward towards the center of the prober. Of course, the advantage here is that there's no longer any tall obstacles around the card, so we can safely probe all the way to the edges of the card. Now the software does not know that we've moved the card from this back right corner position to this position farther forward. So we're going to use the realign function to move that position from the back right corner to the front. The first thing you need to do is go into Huntron Workstation and go to the Align tab. We'll set the alignment number one. Now the software does not know that we've moved the card, so you see that it's going to the alignment one position in that back right corner. So what we'll do is go ahead and show it where this alignment point currently is. So we'll move towards the card. And this is the alignment point right here. There's a via that comes off this capacitor. So we'll align as precisely as possible. And to do that, well, you look at the stored image. There's the stored image from the original alignment point. And here's the current image. You notice that we need to move slightly back and to the right. So we'll do that 30 microns at a time. We'll move to the back and then slightly right. Again, we'll look at the stored image. Toggle between the two and get it as precise as possible. That looks great. So go ahead and set that. And now the software is going to go ahead and go to alignment number two, which of course is again in the back right corner. And we'll need to show it where it currently is. So we'll use the arrow buttons to move to that position. And again, we chose another via on the card. It's this one right here. You will again want to look at the stored image to get this placed as precisely as possible. And again, it looks like we need to move this a little bit, so we'll go 30 microns to the right. Again, toggle between the two images. You see there's a slight rotation difference also between the two positions. I'm going to say it needs to move up a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we'll set that. And just to make sure this placement is correct, what you want to do is go to the Teach tab. And I've got U29 selected here. It's a 64 pin QFP. And then select a pin on this. We'll just go to pin number two. Make sure the camera goes to the correct position. And that's exactly where I'd want that. So the left to right position looks good. We'll also check a pin for the vertical position. So we'll go to pin 22, which is on the left-hand side. And you can see the vertical position looks great as well. We want it right in the center of the pad. So this current alignment position looks very, very good. So what we want to do is now make this position permanent. So to do that, we'll go to the Realign tab. 
We'll select alignment number one. Now it's going to go to where I currently have it set. Now at this point, you can use these same alignment points, or if you have different alignment points that you would prefer to use, you can choose those as well. I'm just going to stay with the ones that I originally used. That looks pretty good for the placement. So we'll set that. And it will go to where I currently set the alignment point on the second one. So here's number two. And I think what I'll do is I'm just going to move that slightly forward. I'm going to bring that more towards the center of that via. And that looks pretty good. So we'll set that. And then now you have a save button become enabled. So by clicking the save button, we're going to permanently overwrite the original line points that were in that back right corner with the new ones that are established more towards the front center of the prober. So we'll click save and click OK. At the same time, we also captured new images for the auto align function. That's that stored image. So now if I go to the align tab, and if I select alignment number one, you see now it comes to that new position of the board within the prober. If I click the stored image, you can see it's dead on. So we have new images as well. So that's how the realign function works within Workstation. The process is essentially the same for any of the single head probers, the Huntron Access or the Huntron Access 2. And also the process is very similar with the Huntron Access DH and DH2 dual headed probers. So we appreciate your watching this video. Please go and view the other videos on the Huntron YouTube channel. As always, thank you for watching.